Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about another variation of insecure data storage issue that is external insecure data storage. So in external insecure data storage, our application might store data in external storage that is SD card. So in the last video we have saw that our application might store user sensitive information in temporary files without encrypting. And in this challenge we will see that where our application stores data in Deva. So now let's see how this challenge or issue actually works in Deva. Now let's have a look at last part of insecure data storage issue in Deva. So you can see here that our Santiago VM operating system is up and running and here is our Jenny motion and here is our application Deva. So if I open this application and let's go here to insecure data storage part 4 and everything looks similar and it again asking us for entering the username and the password. So in the username if I enter here demo and the password let me gonna write here password and click on save. So you can see here it giving us a same toast message that the third party credentials are saved successfully. Now what we have to do is our objective is same that we have to find out where this application or this activity is actually storing our data and we have to find whether our data is being stored as a cipher text or a plain text. So in order to do so first of all we will analyze the source code of this activity. So we will do so by using jdgv and here you can see one jar file. So now let's use jdgv. And here you can see the package name that is jarkha.seam.deva. So if I expand this, here you can see a list of activities where there is one activity called as insecure data storage for activity. And this is the entire source code of that activity or that issue. So you can see here that there is one function called a save credential. So this function is responsible for saving our user data or credentials. And now we will see that where this activity or this application is actually storing our data. So if you read this line, here is a method called as get external storage directory. So this gives us an idea or an overview that this activity might storing our users data something on external directory like something on SD card and here you can see that it's creating a file object local file 2 and here is a file called as uinfo.txt it's a txt file so by viewing this file it gives us an idea at a first glance that this file might contains user credential now in order to verify what we will do we'll try to find our credentials in this file so let me open another terminal and let's go inside adb shell and you can see here that right now I'm inside the shell of Jenny motion. So what we will do first of all see whether that file is present inside the Android package. If that file is not present inside that Android package then we will try to find that file uinfo.txt on external storage. So let's go inside data slash data and let's go inside that package name that is jakha.aseam.deva and now let's try to find that file but here you can see that there is no as such file called as uinfo.txt so now what we will do we'll try to find that file in sd card so the what we have to do is we first have to change our directory and right now you can see that we are at root so let's go here to mnt and inside the mnt directory there is one directory called as sd card which is external storage of any android phone so if I do ls, you will see here that right now we are inside the SD card, but there is no as such file called as uinfo.txt. But the thing to be noticed is that we saw that a file called as uinfo.txt is actually containing our data, but you might have seen that there was a little dot before the name of that file. So let me show you one more time. So you can see here, so here is our file name uinfo.txt and here is a little dot. So what this dot indicates, it means this file is hidden. Now what we will do, let's go back to our SD card. Here you can see that right now, here is our SD card of Jenny motion. Now this time I'll do ls hyphen a. 
So by doing it so, it will display all the hidden files. And you will see here at the top, there is a file called as uinfo.txt. Now we will see whether this file contains our credentials in a normal text or as a cipher text. So let me gonna cat it. So write down here cat uinfo.txt, hit enter and you will see our username that is demo and a password that is password which we have written. So this is a, another example of insecure data storage issue where our application ends up storing users data on external storage without encrypting it. So in this video we saw what is insecure data storage issue and we have a look at another kind of security issue where our application was storing users data on external storage. So thanks for watching this video.